the flip scenario in which credit reports and credit scores um, make someone look credit worthy and your analytics um, uh, finds that, well, maybe not, maybe they're not so credit worthy. Yeah, the easiest thing to think about there is, is, is change over time. So most underwriters use a point in time solution. How many bankruptcies have you had in the last seven years? Or how many late bills have you had in the last 120 days? Uh, which are pretty useful flags. But you actually kind of want to know the trend. So for example, let's say that a couple, three, four years ago, three years ago, you had a whole bunch of late bills, but you haven't had any since then. Well, that's quite a bit different from someone who hasn't had any three or four years ago, but suddenly recently has had. Uh, and it's a little bit hard to capture those changes over time in traditional mathematics as possible. It's just harder. Whereas it's quite natural in uh, kind of the machine learning kinds of models that you would build in a, on a Zest instrument. And that's, I think, the biggest thing is to try and notice when, are thing, when, when does your current state uh, change if you look over time rather than as a point in time.